Friends, welcome. Today, we are going to study, the story, Dick Whittington, and his cat. Warming up. Name. The world famous personalities. Who reached great heights from. Humble circumstances. Dr. APJ Kalam. Abraham Lincoln. Charlie Chaplin. Kalpna Chavla. Guess. The types of hardships they must have faced in their childhood and youth. Poverty. Lack of support from the family. Lack of formal education. Being orphaned at a young age. What strong qualities possessed by them could have helped them achieve success and fame all over? 1. Persistence 2. Perseverance 3. Hard work 4. Self-belief How do stories or biographies of such famous people help youngsters? 1. Motivates youngsters 2. Serve as a role models 3. Develop self-belief in youngsters. 4. Inspire them to walk a path that is different from others. Dick Whittington and his cat. Dick Whittington is the main character of the story. It describes how Dick, a poor and orphan boy, becomes a rich person and mayor of London. Summary of the story. Dick Whittington and his cat. Dick Whittington was a poor and orphan boy. He lived in a small village in the south of England. He was treated unkindly by many of the villagers. One day, he decided to go to London to find his fortune. He reached to London with the help of a man in his cart. But as reached there, he was disappointed. He met unfriendly people. Dick spent that night in the corner of an alley. The next day, he wandered on the streets of London for food but nobody helped him. Being hungry and tired, he fainted in front of Mr. Fitzwarren's house. Mr. Fitzwarren, a rich merchant, offered Dick food and job of helping in the kitchen. Dick lived in the attic where rats and mice overrun around him. He got solution. As he was paid, he bought a cat to prevent him from rats and mice. Dick's one problem was solved but next was the bad-tempered cook. She was always scolding, shouting and hitting with a wooden spoon even he worked hard. So being fed up of the cook, Dick left Mr. Fitzwarren's house. He set out with his cat to find his fortune elsewhere. On their way out of London, he sat down on a stone to rest. It was the 1st of November, All Saints Day. He heard the church bells ringing out a message for him turn again addressing him as the mayor of London. Dick returned back to Mr. Fitzwarren's home. Dick's life changed with a sequence of events occurs in which the cat proved to be a blessing and good lick to him. He sent his cat on a voyage to the African coast of Barbary. On the ship, it helped to keep rats away. In the Barbary too, it helped the king and queen. The king bought it heavy amount to kill rats that troubled his kingdom. Dick became a rich man. From this time on, Dick worked with Mr. Fitzwarren and became a successful merchant himself. He married Mr. Fitzwarren's daughter Alice and three times he was elected Lord Mayor of London. New Words Dismay Great Disappointment Alley a narrow passage between or behind building. Attic. A very small room inside a pointed roof. Scampered. Ran here and there. Overcome. Succeed in dealing with a problem. Put up with. Tolerate. 
Mouser An animal that catches mice Plague A thing that causes great trouble Knighted Given a highly honored title Marginal Questions 1. What innocent belief made Dick decide to go to London? The belief that the London roads were paved with gold and he thought he would go there and pick his fortune up in gold pieces from the street. 2. What hardships did he face? On arriving in London, he was begging for food. People shouted at him, aimed angry blows at his head. He was very weak and he fell down. 3. How did Mr. Fitzwarren favor Dick? Mr. Fitzwarren gave him food, a home and a living. Four. What difficulties did Dick have to face at Mr. Fitzwarren's house? There were rats and mice in the attic and they scampered all over him and kept him awake. And second was that the cook was bad tempered. She shouted, screamed all day and would scold and hit Dick with a wooden spoon. 5. What inspired Dick to return back to Mr. Fitzwarren's home? The church bells that were ringing on 1st of November, which was All Saints Day. 6. Why was the captain of the ship so overjoyed? The captain was overjoyed, because the cat was an excellent mouser, and so he had no trouble with rats and mice on his voyage. 7. What happened when food was brought in, at the palace? When the food was brought in, immediately rats and mice ran up and ate all the food. 8. Why was the queen afraid of the cat? Because, she had seen how fiercely the cat had attacked the rats and mice. 9. How much did the king pay for the cat? The king paid ten times of the sum. 10. What changes had, the cat brought to Dick's life? Dick worked with Mr. Fitzwarren, and became a successful merchant. He married Mr. Fitzwarren's daughter Alice. He was elected Lord Mayor of London three times. He was also in time knighted by the King, and became Sir Richard Whittington. He became famous and popular too. Workshop Arrange the following set of words in the alphabetical order in your notebook. Remove the affixes that is prefix and suffix and write the root word. Find from the story one word for the following. A small room just below a sloping roof. Attic. A very narrow passage between buildings. Alley. The highest ranking officer in the municipality of a city slash town. Mayor. The highest ranking official who commands a ship. Captain. Any animal that catches mice. Mouse. A low constant sound made by cats. Puss. Make sentences of your own using the following expression. 1. Overcome. He overcame his shyness. You must overcome all difficulties. 2. Put up with. I can't put up with it nay longer. Only a saint can put up with these children. 3. Bargain. We bargained for a beautiful vase in the bazaar. She got a bargain at the auction. think and answer. 1. What decision taken by Dick changed his fortune? The decision of giving away his cat. 
2. What message does this story bring out for youngsters? Youngsters should not complain about their difficulties and problems. They should be always optimistic and determined. Always be ready to face the situation and never give up. So friends, we have studied the story, Dick Whittington and his cat. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, don't forget to click on like button and share with your friends. Thank you.